The Guilt, Shame, and Regret Tsunami. Think of when you look back at things that you regret, that you feel guilty about, that you feel ashamed of. When I hit some memory like that, it's almost like this looming tsunami energy. <laughs> it's like, I'll think of these cringeworthy moments from my past. And, and I will cringe. I will, you know, I will tighten. I will constrict. And it's literally almost like you're hunkering down for this huge wave to hit you, to slam down on you. And, you know, if we're not psychopaths, we all have things that we regret, that we're ashamed of in our past. And if we're growing and evolving, then chances are we're going to find new ones every now and then. Now, shame and regret over your past is something that could cause a certain reversal in your healing process. And we don't want that to happen. Because what you've done, you've already done. And to whatever degree it's appropriate, you might want to apologize. And at the very least, take responsibility within yourself. There are some things that you might be ashamed of that nobody would really remember. Because it's just something where you were embarrassed, that you embarrassed yourself. Have you ever had that situation where you embarrassed yourself and then you went and talked about it to somebody, maybe not that much later, and they just looked at you like you were weird, like, oh, you've been thinking about that stupid thing ever since then and I forgot about it? There are things like that. And those are just things where... It's all about your own ego. But then there are other things that aren't good. Where you said things that were mean or crazy or whatever the hell they were. And when you remember them, you feel that, that looming energy of all that stuff. So... In an energy healing process, in a healing process, it's going to be important to clear that tsunami of guilt, shame, and regret because it just holds in an old identity. Now, that does not mean to blow it off, to not deal with it, to not apologize when appropriate or possible. But it also means that you don't need to get so down on yourself for something that maybe happened 20 years ago. Um, because walking around with the energy of shame, guilt, and regret just lowers your frequency. So... I want you to think of something that you're ashamed of and get that feeling of that tsunami, of that looming energy, that, that thing that, that you cringe before. And just feel that. And then what you want to do is just close your eyes and send that past you, that past version of you, some love and forgiveness. And 
you can do this as an exercise every time it comes up. And I don't mean just when it comes up in interactions with other people, but just in your own memory. There are perhaps hundreds of things like that will, that will come up. But the key is that if you give yourself the forgiveness every time, you will clear that energy. And again, this is not to sidestep any necessary asking for forgiveness. This is just understanding that once you've done what you can do with other people and the outer world and changed your patterns and changed your behavior, it does no good to walk around with this charge. Because any charge like that, it's like static electricity. It's looking to release. And it will manifest drama in your life. And there's no need to keep it. So feel the emotion. Feel the energy. Feel the shame, the guilt, the regret. And then send love and healing and acceptance and maybe some humor to that past version of yourself and see what happens. Another way you can work on that is to work with an energy healer like myself. And if you'd like to work with me on it by phone or in person in Southern California, you can reach out to me at andysway at yahoo.com or check out my website, andysway.com. Thanks so much for watching and Good luck clearing this energy. Have a great day. Bye.